Are you ready to shake the world? If only just a little. Today I'm working in my 10x10 journal and this is an image from the graphics fairy that I downloaded which is public, dom <coughs> public domain excuse me, and royalty free. And all I've done is I've just removed the colour by making it grayscale in Adobe Photoshop and printed it on my home computer. But because my printer is running out of ink it's turned out a little bit more bluey than anticipated but that's okay, I can adjust what I was going to do. So as you can see I'm roughly just tearing the shape of the bird out of the sheet. I'm not being particularly careful about getting straight lines, I want them kind of raggy so that they blend into the page more easily. So now using the blue label paper matte medium from Mod Podge I'm going to apply a generous amount onto my page and I'm also then going to butter the back with the brush and then stick them down to try and even out as many of the wrinkles and creases as I possibly can. Now I know people always say that I don't bother too much with them but this time I want to try and reduce them as much as possible. when I'm happy I'm not going to get any more wrinkles and bubbles out of that thing I'm just going to heat it and then move on. So the first colour I'm going to use today is an avocado green acrylic paint from Ducraft which is a UK based company and I'm going to employ my six inch speedball brayer which I haven't used for absolutely ages. So I'm happy with the colour coverage there so it's time to move on to my next colour which is the Golden Sun acrylic paint again from Ducrafts. I'm just going to repeat the same process with the brayer and just randomly roll some of that paint onto the page. So very happy with the way the paint's gone on so time to add a darker colour. This time I'm going to use the conifer green acrylic paint. Now this is a slightly bluish green which is perfect and I'm just going to add some small amounts of that around my page. And because I want the background completely dry before we move on to the next stage I'm just going to gently heat it with my heat gun. Next up comes the Harlequin stencil from TCW and the titanium white acrylic paint from Reeves and I've just got a cosmetic sponge from my local drugstore and I'm just going to put some of that white paint through the Harlequin stencil in select areas around my page. Because I've used the brayer to apply the paint onto the page where the raised area of the bird images it hasn't quite filled in completely so I'm going to try and disguise some of those areas by using the white paint just there just to kind of hide that transition between the raised area and the page below.
So I'm pretty happy with the way the layers are starting to build up now so I'm just going to dry this off with the heat gun and then move on to the next. In this next layer I'm going to try and bring in those blue tones again so I'm using the leaf stencil from Ross Paper Crafts, I'm using deep turquoise acrylic paint from Reeves and I've also got my Mars Black acrylic paint. Now I'm going to mix some of the Mars Black with the deep turquoise to get a darker shade of turquoise which I hope will match the blue and black of the bird image. So I'm going to be mixing these colours by eye so I hope I've got the right kind of colour balance between the two. So I'm going to put this mixed bluish paint through the stencil using the same cosmetic sponge that I used earlier. I didn't see the point in using a new one. So I'm just building up those leaf patterns around the page and trying to get some kind of coherence between the blue and the black, the darker colour, and having the green and yellowy background behind the bird. So very happy now with the way the leaves are on the page and I'm going to bring up my heat gun, just gently give it a nice heat and make sure it's all nice and dry before moving on. So I want to bring some of those colours from the background into the foreground but I also want to just introduce a little bit more of that lighter turquoise blue. So I'm just going to brayer a little bit of that paint onto some bubble wrap, just a small piece, just to add a little bit of texture into the um, not necessarily the background, but more into the foreground, just to lighten it up a little bit. And then to bring that yellow of the background right back into the foreground, I've decided I'm going to do exactly the same thing on another piece of bubble wrap using that Golden Sun yellow acrylic paint also. So I'm very happy now with the way the layers have turned out on this page. So it's time just to give it a final blast with a heat gun and then I can start adding some colour to my bird. So to bring some colour into the bird I'm going to be using three shades of yellow from the artist Pit Pens. Now these are India ink pens which means that when they go on they're quite nicely fluid enough for you to be able to manipulate them and blend them with your finger but once they dry they are completely permanent. Now they work better on a non-porous surface or a surface that's already been sealed with for example the Mod Podge that I've already used. So I'm using the lighter shades for the normal colour and adding in the darker shades where I think the shadows on the bird will be just to try and give it a little bit more depth and dimension and then I'm just adding some of the yellow colour to try and hide that little bit of imperfection on the bird's chest that happened when I braided it earlier.
So I'm very happy with the way that the bird now blends beautifully into the background and I hope that I've captured the colours from the background in the bird also. So to finish off the page I'm going to add a little quote which I've already printed onto a sheet of address label stickers from Staples. I'm just going to cut out my word blocks with a pair of scissors then peel them off and stick them down. Uh, as I've used an inkjet printer I'm not going to go over these with a Mod Podge or sealer. I'm just going to leave them the way they are. And the quote reads, in a gentle way you can shake the world, which I believe is a quote from Gandhi. So just to try and blend those word blocks into the page a little bit more, I'm just going to go around adding a little bit of a, a depth and shadow, just using that um, darker yellow artist pit pen. I'm just rubbing it gently with my fingers just to blend it in and create a kind of frame or a border around those two word blocks. And now that the word blocks have their little border, I'm happy with this page and I'm going to call it complete. So the last thing I need to do before saying that the page is finished is just to add the date and to sign it. And now that's done, my page is complete. So I hope you enjoyed watching that art journal page come together. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up, share the video with all your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from me for today. I will be back again on Saturday with a new mission inspiration and the start of my seven days of Christmas. See you then.